If you're facing high RAM usage while playing Fortnite, here is a simple video in order to fix your problem. Recently, Fortnite just got updated to season four and many players are facing numerous problems, mostly the crashes. So if you're one of them who are having crashes, you can refer to my this video. Now coming back to the high RAM usage, why is it happening? Well, the reason which I could figure out is that since due to the update, I guess Epic have slightly increased the textures a little bit in game, which in turn combining with the Unreal Engine 5 on which Fortnite is made, has made the game a little bit more demanding. So it definitely is asking for more RAM. Now Fortnite have already tweeted this as you can see on the screen and they're working on a possible fix. But what can we do until that fix is released? When you can follow my step, I will try to help you out tabling a RAM a little bit. Now first and foremost thing, nowadays it is recommended to at least 16 GB of RAM which is ideal for gaming. So if you're one of those who are playing games in like 4 GB RAM or 8 GB RAM, it is time for an upgrade. So this video will help you guys as well in stabilizing the RAM but for ideal gaming, 16 GB is necessary. The second step would be to turn off the Superfats service. The Superfats is a standard Windows feature that preloads the app you use most frequently. Superfats can extend startup times by preloading programs before Windows can get itself up and running. Though Superfats is usually helpful, sometimes it can slow down your PC as it is a background service it's constantly using some of your RAM resources. So to off the super fast features, I will show you two simple steps. The first one, what you need to do is simply click on the search bar and type in run over there. A small window will come up. Here you need to type or choose rag edit and simply click on OK. And when rag edit opens, you just need to click on the HK local machine, the small little triangle, and then go to system and scroll down, you will find something called as control 001. And from there, you choose control over there, just below it, and then scroll down, you have to scroll down to the very bottom. And from here, you need to find something called as session manager. And the session manager, you will find something called as memory management in the bottom. From there, you go to the prefetch parameters. Here you will see the enabled super fetch. Simply just double click on this, and you will see the value as three, change it to zero and simply click on okay. Now, if this step feels a little bit complicated to you, there is one more step which you can do is a little bit simple. What you need to do is here, is that go to your search bar over there in a the corner and type over there run one more time. And this time you have to search something else which is called as services.mcs and simply click okay. So this thing will come up here. You need to find something called as sysmain. And here in the sysmain, just simply double click on it or you can go to right click and properties. And here, after you double click on it, here you need to see something called as a startup type, which is written over here, which will be selected automatic by default. You just click on it and just select automatic but delayed and simply click on OK. The next step would be to close all your background apps. So what do you need to do? Go to search bar again. And this time you have to search for background apps and simply click on enter. As you can see, all my background apps are turned off. If you need one or two, you can turn on all of them if you required any one of them. But for me, I don't need any one of them, so I have turned off all of them. So make sure when you play the game, I would suggest you to turn off all the background apps and then try the game. One additional step which you can include over here is simply just go to this PC in your computer then right click here and go to properties and you will find advanced system settings. Click on it and then go to advanced tab. Then click on the settings, which is the first time. And you can see this thing will come up here by default. It automatically selected the left windows, choose what's best for your computer, but you have to choose adjust for best performance or you can do custom. You can see my settings. I've only selected show thumbnails instead of icons and only smooth edge of the screen fonts. So these two settings only I need, though you can choose as this for best performance, it will unselect all of them. But if you need other ones, you can select them by choosing the custom one. We just need the best out of our computer. So we have reduced or we have minimized the animations which are shown by windows and we want best for my computer. So this is what the settings you need to do. After doing this, simply click on OK, OK, and it's done. The next step is we will choose our virtual memory manually. What you need to do is just go to your disk PC again and from here go to properties and click on advanced system settings. Go to the advanced tab and then click on settings 
This time you have to go to the advanced tab over here, which you can see, click on it and you will see something called as virtual memory. Simply click on the change button. Now here, as you can see, automatic managed paging file size for all drives are selected. That is my 16 gigs are allocated. As you can see, it's written over here, but I need to manually switch and we will put a little bit of less value here. So first untick this, the automatically selected, click on custom size. As you can see, the minimum allocation I can do is 16 megabytes and recommended is 2925 megabytes. And in the custom size, I'm just going to put the initial size as 2024. That is up to you what you want to put. I just want to allocate 2 GB of RAM in this drive. And the maximum size, how to find it is very simple. You just have to go and open your calculator. And in the calculator, you just have to type 2024 multiplied by the amount of RAM you have. I have 16 gigs of RAM, so I will multiply with 16. That is 32,384 so I will simply go there and simply type here 32,384 and simply click on OK. So as you can say that this changes requires to restart a computer so just restart your computer and see your performance. The next step would be to scan your PC. Now this scanner which I'm going to talk about is called as Malwarebytes. It's a free and simple software to use. You simply have to just click on free download. It will download simply install it and simply click on the button scan. It will search each and every file, memory, RAM, everything in your computer and it will see if there are any ransomware, spyware or like any adware or anything like that or any kind of viruses. It will detect everything and simply you can delete all of them and then try the game. You will see a lot of improvement after using this particular software. I personally use it. I like it a lot. You try it. You will definitely like it a lot because it will improve your performance as well. So those were some simple steps which you can try in order to lower down your RAM a little bit as compared to what you are getting right now. And if this video didn't help you that much, don't worry, please wait a little bit, have some a little bit of patience for like a day or some hours. Epic will simply come out with a fix of this RAM issue. They will maybe uh, release a patch or an update and that will fix your problem. And if this video helped you, please don't forget to hit the like button. Consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.